So the Institute for the Future of Computing is investigating technologies that will significantly change the way in which we deal with computing in the future, and I mean 10 to 50 years out. So that includes looking at things like quantum computing, it includes looking at the massive increase in data and processing power, what we might be able to achieve, and what we should be concerned about in order to do that in, in a safe and secure manner. The biggest benefits from quantum computing are numerous, of course, but amongst them will be the significant scale up of the ability to do massive parallel computations and to explore multiple states at one time. So if you imagine in today's world we have programs that go through in a series, in a line from one place to another, and then we under understand how to create lots of those running at the same time, sometimes sharing information. Well, in a quantum world, you take it into multiple dimensions. And so you can explore many more different outcomes than we currently can in today's programming um, paradigms. I believe quantum computing will deliver much more powerful search algorithms, but also enable people to explore a less binary world. Um, at the moment, we search on keywords, we search on lists of things we're interested in. In a quantum world, we might be able to do far more intricate and complex searching. Um, these things and maybe those things, both of them at the same time combined with other things. I suspect the quantum paradigm will, will change the way in which people drive computers as much as it does change the, way, the cap capability and capacity of computers. So what will effect will quantum computing have on jobs? Well, I wish I had a crystal ball. Um, I'm going to answer this in a sense that I don't think this is just about quantum computing. I think we're talking about the future of com computing in general and what effect that will have on jobs. And I suspect we're going to be creating different roles. So as we see this massive growth in data and the information that one can derive from that, and then the intelligence one wants to derive from this information that needs to be actionable to, to change the way in which we live, to decide if it's that medical treatment or that, do I drive here or, or there, do I launch my satellite in this direction or that direction, um, do I invest in um, crop harvesting in this part of the world because of this weather system versus that. In actual fact, we're going to be creating a whole new class of people that can create actionable intelligence from data and they're going to use all sorts of tools and what's enabled by quantum computing will certainly be part of that but I think there's a whole new generation they currently refer to as data crunchers it won't just be about crunching data it'll be about generating intelligence so if you imagine the world of spies and, 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 and movies that where people currently perceive intelligence to sit these analysts um, Actually, we're going to have whole rafts of analysts, intelligence analysts, for every aspect of life. And their job will be to create interesting and useful intelligence from data.